Howdy, Dr. Rich Kellenhofer here. I want to do a short video tutorial on how to build a device in multi-SIM. Uh, we have a number of senior design teams that simulate aspects of their circuits and then when they validate that simulation against the prototype they build, they find that they're, they're off. And oftentimes what happens is students are using the generic uh, transistors out of multi-SIM or they're pulling something from uh, the, the master database that looks close to one of the devices. One of the good things is, though, the manufacturers have circuit models that you can download and use in your simulations. Uh, for example, I'm going to look at International Rectifier has uh, SPICE models that you can download. And we're going to model a, an, R, an IRF 1405 uh, N-channel power MOSFET uh, for this example. A couple steps you want to do before you start is you want to obtain let me erase that want to obtain the circuit model from the manufacturer and you want to save that circuit file as a .cir file the other thing you want to do is you want to write down the circuit node definitions for example uh, in in our example we're going to have a, a, a gate a drain and a source and those are mapped in the circuit model. Let me pull up the circuit model for you. As you can see, we have a drain here, which is node 1 for the circuit model. The gate is node 2, and the source is node 3. You're going to want to make note of those. Next step after you do that is you want the package information. In this example, we're going to be using a T0262 and you're going to want to write down the pin, pin numbers as it relates to the node definitions. For example, there's our different pins uh, for the device. Uh, the gate is on pin 1 for the package, the drain is on pin 2, and the source is on pin 3. We also have the symbol, and we're going to be using that as well. The symbol is used in multi-SIM the package information is used by Altiboard for, for laying out the package. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to open up Multisim. First thing we want to do is we go into Tools and Component Wizard. And I already have built this before, so typically I would call it, well, I'll just call it an RIRF 1405. And as a function, I'm going to call it a MOSFET. You may want to call it a power MOSFET. We're going to do simulation and layout. And we hit next. Now we want a footprint. And I'm going to select a footprint that's in the database. I have a couple here in my user database, but you can go to the master database and search. Um, so I've already used a, a footprint for the TO. 262 package. I'm going to select that one, and there's the package down there. So we select that. It's a single section component. There are certain devices that'll have multiple sections in the, in the package, but this is a single single section component in this package. And I have to change the number of pins for this one to three because it's a, a three-pin device. It does not use the case, which is uh, in IRFs documentation list that is pin 4. Now you can use this generic box type symbol. I like to use uh, an actual MOSFET symbol. So next step I'm going to do is copy from the database. And As you see I've already had uh, a device that I could copy from. Um, you can go into the master, master database. Uh, if you go into um, I'm going to go into the power MOSFET. I'll go to transistors. And uh, one of the families under the transistors are power MOSFETs, N channel. And if you slide up and down, you can select any symbol that, that's in here. Uh, let me grab, there is an IRF symbol already in here. There's an IRF 520. And I'm going to use that symbol. And that's an ANSI symbol. And that's a symbol that will be used now for our device. The symbol pins are the source, the drain, and the gate. That's all good. We hit next. Now we have to map the symbol pins to 
to the package footprint pins. And if you recall, the source was pin 3 in the package. The drain was the middle pin in the package. And the gate was the first pin in the package. So now we've mapped the symbol pins to the package footprint pins. Hit next. Now we have to go get the circuit model. Um, I have the model already set up. I've saved the model as IRF 1405 and I've obtained that model from IRF's website. Uh, TI has circuit models. Uh, on Semiconductor has circuit models. A lot of the manufacturers have circuit models that you can use. And that will populate it. And it will also automatically give it a model name. And here we see the, the, model, the model nodes are 1, 2, and 3. And those have to map into our symbol nodes. So the symbol pins, the source, if you go back and recall, our source was actually node 3 in our model. So we'll have to make that change. The drain was node 1 in the model. And the gate was node 2 in the model. And it's important to get these mappings correct, otherwise your device will not work. And again, I'll pull, I'll pull up the model. We see that the, the, the model is pin 1. So pin 1 is the drain. Pin 2 is the gate, or I, not pin, but the, the node 1 is the drain, node 2 is the gate, node 3 is the source. Okay, on to the next step. We now have to place this, this component in, in the user database. Um, it's a transistor, so I'm going to put it under the group of transistors. I have already created a family called power transistors. So I'll place it there. If not, you'll have to create a family within a group. And we finish. As you see, I already have the same component. Do I want to overwrite this? I'm going to say yes. And there we go. There's our component. Now, you'll notice there's a U in there. And sometimes we, we like to use Q as our designations. You can change that if you go to Tools, Database, Database Manager. If we look on our user database, recall that was a power transistors was the family we just built. And we set the default prefix for our reference designator to Q. And we hit close. Now if we go into place, I can grab a component. I'm going to grab a component out of our user, user database. Power transistor. I just created IRF 1405 place it in our circuit model and there we go. There's our circuit. It's just that easy. You're all ready to use your device now in multi-sim.